I've been given some thought to uh, making one of these um, blasting detonators you know like they used in uh, World War 2 you may have seen them, uh, well seen a similar unit being used in Saving Private Ryan when they blew the bridge up um, this one here on eBay is, is now sold, I was watching it, keeping my eye on it, it sold for $135 uh, vintage Atlas explosives mining hand crank detonator blaster uh, blasting machine. Um, yeah, so uh, that's uh, what it looked like. I actually thought that it worked by pushing the rod down which charged a, um, a capacitor or something inside and then once you turned it to the side I thought that's when it um, it just made a circuit and discharged the capacitor out to the line to um, to make the filament in the charge um, burn and create the explosion. Now it seems that it's not that and it's basically just you crank it by turning the handle sideways uh, like a quarter turn something like that and that's what creates the electricity. You can probably see there's the top view showing the two uh, lugs for attaching the wires to and you get a bit of an idea how big it is in the guy's hand so um, I've been thinking could I make one of these so what would we say it's about 10 or so inches tall with the handle in something about that sort of size So I'll show you what things I've got here now. Um, this is one of the small hand cranked uh, generators, the type used in field phones and um, I'm able to get a few of these at the moment because they are disused scrap equipment which I can lay my hands on not used, not being used in several years so uh, they are uh, you know looking for a use for them it's alright I've got it, I've got it Dark. Uh, what's the question we're going to ask you? Just when is, when talk, is the yeah. invasion? No, 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 no. It's got to be something along the lines of where's the fallen Madonna with the big boobies? Tell us what we start filming. Right, okay. Where's fallen Madonna with the big boobies? I tell you nothing. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Right, <laughs> <laughs> tell this fucking ankle off. No, no, again. No, there is fallen Madonna with the big boobies. Take the fucking ankle off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you've just seen uh, the footage of uh, the electric chair with my mate in it. Uh, so, uh, why did he jump? Well, obviously it was uh, it was a nice uh, belt of uh, AC from a field telephone hand generator. Now, um, this is the sort of unit which is inside those field phones little uh, hand cranked jenny now if you wind it backwards um, quite often the handle wind unwinds on these see they're made so that they they just tear screw on you know now uh, you can see here voltmeter AC volts and if I give that 
a little flick. See it jumped up to 44 volts there. Um, and if I give it a nice constant run, 65, 68, speed it up a little bit, um, 70s, a little bit faster there, it went into the 80s, 87 then, just went over 100 volts, 90s, so it's it's running between um, about 75 and um, just into the 80 volt regions the occasional peaks into eight, into 90s if I go even faster I got 140 or something then but you can't really be certain with these digital multimeters they tend to get all these little spikes yeah, so you saw it running there. Now, um, right, I'm not actually worried about holding these wires. You might think uh, that's quite a bit of electricity, but uh, there, that's running through my fingers now. That's about 80 odd volts AC running between my two fingers. Uh, you know, doesn't leave any uh, significant problem. Uh, now, these are 12 volt auto bulbs. Now, what do you think that voltage is going to light these? Well, actually, no, it doesn't. It just provides pretty much a short circuit because it hasn't got the current in this thing to make this filament glow try again nothing okay so here's a tiny little mini bulb I think they're probably designed to run on about 6 volts um, they'll be a very low wattage so they're going to be a very thin filament inside these now Again, I'm just going to hold the wires on with the tips of my fingers, and you can see like a half turn on this will illuminate the bulb. And um, if I actually give it quite a few turns, it will probably uh, burn the filament out, which is the sort of thing you'd want to be doing probably if you were uh, uh, come on probably shorting it with the multimeter if I give it a significant turn this filament will just pop now the question is, I haven't got any pyro here at my house, now would that be enough to um, set a pyro off, uh, you know, a, a stage maroon? I really didn't think it would be enough, but perhaps I'm wrong, but I'm not really going out my way to test it. As I say, this is just one of these tiny little uh, light bulbs and uh, very low wattage, so it will illuminate on the amount of uh, current that's coming out of this thing. But the uh, question is, would it set off a maroon?